Hello guys, I am the Redstone Engineer, one of the 50 on YouTube, and today I am back, not in Minecraft, but in Space Engineers. So in front of me, or rather behind me, I have this, and this is my Fallout 4 inspired Hummingbird VTOL. It'll be on the workshop, and it was really inspired by the vertebrates from Fallout 4 because those things are amazing. So I went with a much more sleek design than those but kept this sort of wings and bubble cockpit design. So uh, that's pretty much it for the exterior and in inside we have four passenger seats and a relatively empty area here so I could attach a passenger turret here or if I wanted to, because I have the small ship blocks mod installed, I could just put switch the block size and put an interior turret here. Of course I'll get rid of that, because that'll unbalance it. But aside from that, we just have a little pilot's area up here with the antenna and remote control block and just the seats with key bindings there. So what you want to do when you're taking off is firstly ensure that your inertial dampeners are on because there's several thrusters hidden around the ship which will really help you maneuver. Then ensure that the safety lock is off otherwise you won't be able to move the rotors which move like that for a flight position. And uh, if I switch back inside and then three switches on these uh, props and that sets them spinning. The mod that adds those is a little glitchy so you can only hear the sound when you're very close to them and if I go like this the animation just kind of stops for that one and then we can uh, lift off at around 14 kilonewtons is when the rotors start kicking in and you just need to tilt forwards to move forwards. Though you do have a couple of engines to give you a bit of a boost if you need them. And I will lower the force of these engines a little bit. Just switch off inertial dampers so we start moving down. So we can enter into this canyon here. So I'll keep pointing forwards so as to keep moving forwards. And turn up the th force on them. So this is pretty manoeuvrable, and I find it's best to move it around in this uh, move in this sort of wing jets upright position for most of your transfer, most transports, and the interior view looks sweet. But of course, uh, if you want, you can just move, spin the rotors and that turns them into that position. Then put the safety lock on so they don't move around during the flight. And this is a pretty nice way to go. It's a very fun, fun thing to fly around just because it's so different to anything else I've flown. And so it's a pretty nice flight. It's very smooth. And since it has the remote control lock on, you can actually pilot it from one of the seats, so you can get those amazing views from the side of the cockpit. And if I don't alt-tab out... Uh, you can go inside, and it's absolutely beautiful. So, as for mods on here, I have the small ship mega mod pack, just so I can get the glass and various other parts. And then I of course have the uh, helicopter blade mods, blades mod, can't quite remember the name of that, but all the links will be down in the description. And I have the uh, aerodynamics mod, and I'll also put that down in the description. There's not much else to this, 
but I have to warn you that landing is incredibly difficult. Light switch this back on. Since my speed is 100 meters per second, I can't actually move the rotors because I have a safety lock override on those. So what I'll do, just for the purpose of this, though you really shouldn't do this, is switch up the safety lock speed. Slow myself down. Come on. There we go. And, uh, spin around. Let those thrust. Let those backwards thrusters do their job. And with that, we can just slowly reduce the speed of our engines. switch off inertial dampeners to get us going down. And slowly decrease the speed and land. Quickly uh, switch up that to slow us down. And honestly, I'm surprised things never go this well when I'm recording. And this is actually the best landing I've had ever while piloting this ship. So just be warned, piloting it is rather difficult. It is not the nicest ship in the world to try and pilot. And there we go. Bit of a bumpy stop, but can't have everything. So, I just have to thank you all for watching, and tell me down in the comments if you want to see more of my just little creations that I've made in Space Engineers. But aside from that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.